Hello, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're working on the last day of um, Junk Journal January, prompt number 31. This is how my journal looks at the moment, quite chunky. And it definitely needs that um, sari tie. So 31 is thankful. Let's open her up and get started. I've got three pages left in my journal and I think uh, for this one I'm going to work on two of them and um, complete a double spread. So let's open her up. So today what I've done is I have um, I was playing on the computer and I've generated some paper using images from the public domain. So I've made two sheets of paper. This is one for collaging. And um, I'm going to use this on my page to make life a little bit easier today. So we'll slot it down here just under that tab. I've also got some scrap pieces. And here I've worked another tuck spot with some handwriting and a little bit of my painting. A few more bits of ephemera to go into the tuck. And this is a clothing label that I intend to cover with some more of this William Morris paper. And that will go into the tuck as well. And lastly, I've fussy cut this image. It's the same floral image used in the paper, but slightly larger. And um, I noticed Meg had a couple of double page spreads where she placed a large floral image, and I'm going to give that a try today. So let's start by um, gluing down. This may be a bit disjointed because I, <laughs> I was chatting away on the actual video and uh, now I've ed edited a lot of that out. So I'm just making sure that this will fold nicely in the centre. I added plenty of glue there. And now some torn scraps from the same sheet of paper. And I know this this page is going to look a bit samey. To me, it puts me in mind of mint and china, and I quite like it, just for a change. So I'm just working out where I want this tuck spot um, here at the bottom of the page. I don't want to cover up. Um, this image here. I've got another piece here that I think I will fussy cut, uh, sorry, not fussy cut, tear and uh, place in this bottom corner. Yeah, that looks much better. So now for the flower, um, I'm just messing around trying to get the positioning right for the tuck spot and, um, and the flower across the page. And also being very careful about gluing it because it took a while to trim this up and I didn't want to tear it. I love this image, it's a lily. We 
probably see me go in and add extra glue on the um, flower as we move along. It, um, it took some gluing down, I have to say. Okay, so uh, the tuck spot is going down here in this corner. And thankfully it doesn't cover too much of that scrap of paper above it. So I'm adding glue about two thirds of the way around this to set it down. And I've, you can see I've popped up the word thankful. And that wasn't intentional, I had to do that. I um, made a mistake when I was writing the first one on the actual tag. <laughs> and rather than redo all the uh, painting, I thought I'll just pop up the word over the top. So I'm owning up. I sometimes um, concentrate so much and I forget the spelling of words. <laughs> okay, so these are two of the ephemera pieces. That same floral image is over another piece of pattern. And that will sit just behind my um, tuck spot here. And now we'll move this aside and cover the label. This, um, I, I'm actually saying that my desk is a mess. It is a mess. It was a mess. I've had to tidy up now. I have papers everywhere. I couldn't find things. So um, I'm going to cover the front of this with this William Morris paper. And um, the back, I will add some line paper, says so that I could journal on it. I mean, it'd be very limited space. It's quite a narrow uh, label, but for all that, I probably will write on there. And you can see I've printed out a thankful, and I'm going to add that to the front and actually layer that up on some old book page. There we go, I've punched a hole in the top of the label. And now I'm going to add, when I can find it, a bulb pin with a couple of beads on it. And they are flat mother of pearl beads. They're just the same sort of neutral colours. Um, they'd probably get a bit lost on this tag, but they're there. I know they're there and I quite like them. Just a bit of added interest to the page. Okay, so we'll slot that into the uh, tuck spot. And now I'm just looking at the page thinking it needs a couple of small labels, I think. We'll close it up so we look at just the page. And I'm just um, propping up the back of the journal so that it lies flat. Okay, here we go, looking for labels. And I think a couple of traces labels will win this one. Yes, I like that placement. That's perfect.
And that's it. My page is just about finished. Um, thank you so much, Meg. I've really enjoyed this challenge. It's been fantastic. And thank you everybody who's been passed to check out what I've been up to. I appreciate you all. This is the finished last page. I hope you like it. And as a thank you, I would like to offer um, any of my subscribers who sends me an email um, a copy of both the pages I used on this last post. They are public domain images, free to use. And this one in particular, the top one, is fabulous for um, collaging. There's lots of opportunities here for ripping up. Um, and this one is uh, more for the images, you know, the um, journal cards or uh, bits of ephemera. So if you're interested, if you would like a copy of these pages, please send me an email with your email address and I will send you a copy by return. And, um, and I hope you enjoy playing with them. Now, I wasn't sure whether they were very visible there, but um, I will add a couple of photos at the end. So, thank you all once again for uh, visiting me daily. I'm getting ready to work on my next journal, and I hope that you'll call past to see what I'm up to in that one. Thanks again all. Bye now.